In 1951, in a quiet suburb of Los Angeles, the story of Sally Kristen Ride begins. As a young girl, Sally was insatiably curious, a trait nurtured by her supportive parents who were always ready to answer her myriad questions. Though not scientists themselves, Sally's parents championed her endless inquisitiveness. They encouraged her to explore the world around her as she grew, fostering a love for discovery that would define her path. At school, Sally particularly excelled in science and mathematics. She naturally gravitated towards solving complex problems, finding real joy in the challenges they presented. During middle school, Sally undertook her first science fair project, comparing the efficiency of different rocket fuels. This project not only earned her the first prize but also solidified her resolve to walk the path of a scientist. After graduating high school, Sally attended Stanford University, double majoring in physics and English. At Stanford, she nurtured her academic passions and leadership skills, further broadening her dreams of space exploration. Sally Ride's journey at Stanford University was not just an academic pursuit, it was the breeding ground for her future ambitions. Nestled in the heart of Silicon Valley, Stanford provided Sally with both the resources and the inspiration to dream big. During her years at Stanford, Sally thrived in the stimulating environment, frequently engaging in cutting-edge physics experiments. Her ability to blend theoretical knowledge with practical application distinguished her among peers. Yet, it was in the quiet corners of the university library where Sally found her true calling. Immersed in the works of the great physicists and astronomers, she envisioned herself among the stars, contributing to the body of space knowledge. An unexpected visit by an astronaut to campus one afternoon sparked a new fire within Sally. As she listened intently to tales of space travel and exploration, the seeds of an extraordinary dream were sown. Guided by her mentors, Sally began to explore the possibilities that lay beyond the academic world. Her discussions about the future were not just about opportunities but about pioneering new frontiers in science. As Sally Ride completed her graduate studies at Stanford, NASA announced a call for new astronaut candidates. This opportunity arrived at a perfect moment, aligning with Sally's growing interest in space and her ambition to push the boundaries of human exploration. Determined to seize this rare opportunity, Sally meticulously prepared her application, consulting with family, friends, and her academic mentors. Each conversation fueled her resolve, painting a picture of the potential that lay ahead. The submission of her application marked a turning point. The weeks that followed were filled with anxious anticipation as Sally awaited a response that could change her life forever. Then, the call that would alter the course of her life came. Sally Ride was invited to join NASA's astronaut training program, a moment that was both exhilarating and daunting. She was on her way to becoming the first American woman in space. Arriving at the Johnson Space Center, Sally was greeted by the reality of her new life. Here, she would be tested beyond her limits, training alongside some of the brightest minds and bravest souls of her generation. Sally Ride entered NASA's astronaut training program prepared to face a series of rigorous challenges. This program was not just training, it was a gateway to the stars, a path paved with relentless trials and boundless learning opportunities. In the simulators, Sally thrived under pressure, distinguishing herself in high-stress environments. From piloting simulators that mimicked the shuttle's operations to experiencing weightlessness in parabolic flight, each session pushed her closer to her dream. Training also included mastering emergency protocols. Sally and her team rehearsed countless scenarios, from cabin depressurization to emergency landings ensuring they could react swiftly and effectively under any circumstances. Beyond physical training, Sally's preparation involved extensive study of spacecraft systems, orbital mechanics, and the science behind space travel. Her academic background in physics was a tremendous asset, 
allowing her to grasp complex concepts quickly. The bonds formed during these intense months of training were unbreakable. Sally and her colleagues shared experiences that few others could understand, creating friendships that would support them in space and back on Earth. In June 1983, Sally Ride was poised to make history as the first American woman to fly into space. As a mission specialist on STS-7, the Space Shuttle Challenger's second flight, Sally's role was crucial to the mission's success. Alongside her four crewmates, Sally trained rigorously, mastering the intricacies of the shuttle systems and preparing for the deployment of several satellites, a key objective of the mission. On the morning of June 18, 1983, as the main engines ignited and Challenger lifted off, Sally Ride transformed from astronaut to space pioneer. The successful launch was watched by millions around the world, marking a new chapter in space exploration. In orbit, Sally's responsibilities included operating the shuttle's robotic arm, a critical component for deploying and retrieving satellites. Her performance was not only a testament to her skills but also a pivotal moment for women in space. The mission was a resounding success, with Sally and her team completing all primary objectives, including the deployment of two communication satellites and conducting several scientific experiments. As Challenger touched down, Sally Ride had not only reached the stars but had also paved the way for future generations of women astronauts. Her return was celebrated not just as a triumph of a mission but as a monumental achievement for gender equality in science and exploration. Just over a year after her historic first flight, Sally Ride returned to space aboard the Challenger on October 5, 1984, as part of the STS-41G mission. This time, she was not only a trailblazer but a veteran astronaut entrusted with even greater responsibilities. STS-41G was notable not only for its scientific objectives but also for its diverse crew, which for the first time included two female astronauts. Sally's presence and expertise were pivotal in fostering team dynamics and executing the mission's complex goals. As Challenger soared into the sky, Sally was at the helm of several key operations, including managing the shuttle's radar mapping system, which aimed to chart a significant portion of the Earth's surface for the first time from space. The mission successfully deployed the Earth Radiation Budget Satellite, enhancing our understanding of climate dynamics. Sally's adept handling of the radar mapping system contributed crucial data that would influence future climate research. After eight days in orbit, STS-41G returned to Earth, marking another successful mission for Sally Ride. Her second journey into space reinforced her status as a key figure in the astronaut corps and as a pioneer advocating for women in the sciences. Sally's achievements on STS-41G solidified her legacy as an astronaut who not only broke barriers but also paved the way for future explorations. Her return from space was met with accolades and admiration, inspiring countless young women to pursue careers in science and aerospace. In space, Sally Ride's role extended beyond the operation of spacecraft systems, she was deeply involved in executing and overseeing scientific experiments that would broaden our understanding of the world and beyond. Sally's work with the shuttle imaging radar was groundbreaking. This technology allowed scientists to observe Earth's topography with unprecedented clarity, revealing geological features hidden by vegetation and offering insights into the processes shaping our planet. Beyond geological studies, Sally was instrumental in conducting experiments on the effects of microgravity on various materials and living organisms. These studies provided valuable data for ongoing research into how space travel affects physical and biological systems. Her commitment to education was evident as she took every opportunity to connect with students and educators on Earth. Through live broadcasts from the shuttle, Sally discussed her experiments and their significance, inspiring a new generation of scientists and explorers. The impact of Sally's scientific contributions was profound. 
The data she helped gather advanced our knowledge in fields ranging from environmental science to physics and opened up new possibilities for research in microgravity environments. Upon returning to Earth, Sally continued to advocate for space-based scientific research, participating in conferences and collaborating with the global scientific community. Her efforts ensured that the momentum of discovery initiated in orbit would continue to accelerate, influencing countless future missions. After her spaceflights, Sally Ride turned her focus toward a new frontier, education. Recognizing the need to foster a strong science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, foundation in young people, Sally dedicated herself to inspiring the next generation of scientists and explorers. In 2001, Sally co-founded Sally Ride Science, an organization committed to narrowing the gender gap in science and engineering. Through her company, she developed educational programs, published books, and organized workshops that made science accessible and exciting for all children, particularly encouraging girls to pursue scientific careers. Sally also understood the pivotal role teachers play in student development. She spearheaded initiatives to provide professional development for teachers, equipping them with the tools to ignite curiosity and confidence in their students. Her advocacy extended beyond classrooms and workshops. Sally was a powerful voice in national discussions on educational policy, advocating for equitable access to STEM education and inspiring policymakers to invest in the future of science and technology. Through her tireless efforts, Sally Ride's impact on education created a lasting legacy. Her work ensured that thousands of young minds were not only exposed to the wonders of science but were also encouraged to dream big and reach for the stars, just as she did. Beyond her contributions to science and education, Sally Ride emerged as a staunch advocate for space exploration. With her unique perspective as a former astronaut, Sally utilized her experience to articulate the value and necessity of continued space missions. Sally was a regular fixture at public forums and educational panels, where she discussed the technical and inspirational aspects of space travel. She emphasized how missions not only advance scientific knowledge, but also inspire people around the world to look beyond their immediate surroundings and aspire to greater achievements. Her involvement with NASA continued long after her last flight. Sally frequently visited the Johnson Space Center, where she met with current astronauts and engineers to share insights and offer encouragement. Her presence was a bridge between the pioneering days of space travel and the new frontiers of exploration. Sally also took her advocacy to the halls of Congress, where she testified about the importance of robust funding for NASA. She argued that investing in space exploration was crucial not only for scientific advancement but also for maintaining the technological leadership of the United States on the global stage. Through her advocacy, Sally Ride helped to shape the direction of U.S. space policy. Her efforts ensured that space exploration remained a national priority, influencing the development of new technologies and the planning of future missions that would continue to push the boundaries of what is possible. Sally Ride's legacy extends far beyond her historic journeys into space. As the first American woman to orbit the Earth, she broke barriers and opened doors, leaving a lasting impact on the fields of science, education, and space exploration. The Sally Ride Science Festival, established in her honor, continues to inspire thousands of young minds each year. These festivals are a testament to Sally's dedication to empowering girls and young women to pursue careers in STEM fields, fostering a generation of scientists, engineers, and innovators. Those who worked with Sally or were mentored by her often speak of her profound influence not just as a scientist and astronaut, but as a role model and mentor. Through scholarships and endowments in her name, her commitment to nurturing talent and curiosity lives on. Sally's work also paved the way for numerous advancements in space technology and methodology. Today, international space missions continue to benefit from her pioneering efforts, 
ensuring that her legacy influences not only American space exploration but global scientific initiatives. Sally Ride's story is a beacon of inspiration, not only for what she achieved in space but for her courage, dedication, and commitment to making a difference on Earth. Her life reminds us that the stars are within reach if we dare to pursue our dreams with persistence and passion. Sally Ride's journey to becoming the first American woman in space was fraught with challenges that tested her resolve and capabilities. Despite the pressure and high expectations, her determination never wavered. Being a pioneer meant Sally not only faced the physical demands of space travel but also the added burden of proving that women could excel in space just as well as men. She handled media scrutiny and public attention with poise, using her platform to advocate for gender equality in STEM. Sally's ability to lead and inspire her teammates was evident in every aspect of her work. Her efforts helped cultivate a more inclusive environment at NASA, paving the way for future generations of astronauts from diverse backgrounds. After her time in space, Sally continued to face challenges, turning them into opportunities to influence space policy and improve astronaut training programs. Her expertise was instrumental in shaping the safety measures and protocols that are now standard in space missions. Sally Ride's legacy is defined not only by the barriers she broke but also by her relentless pursuit of excellence and equality. Her challenges were many, but her triumphs, both personal and professional, continue to inspire those who follow in her footsteps. After her pioneering space flights, Sally Ride dedicated a significant portion of her career to mentoring and nurturing the next generation of scientists and engineers. Her commitment to mentorship stemmed from a deep belief in the transformative power of education and guidance. Sally's efforts in education were not confined to occasional speeches or guest lectures. She immersed herself in programs that made a practical difference, founding Sally Ride Science, supporting STEM initiatives, and advocating for policies that encouraged young women to pursue science and technology careers. Those who were fortunate enough to be mentored by Sally describe her as an inspiring and thoughtful leader who took a genuine interest in their professional and personal development. Her guidance often extended beyond their education and into their early careers in the sciences. Sally Ride's legacy lives on through various scholarships and awards created in her honor. These accolades are designed not just to recognize academic excellence but to embody Sally's spirit of exploration and discovery. Each year, the Sally Ride Lecture Series on Space Science and Engineering draws experts and enthusiasts alike, fostering a community keen on advancing the frontiers of space just as Sally did. Through these lectures, her passion for space exploration continues to inspire and educate. Behind the public persona of the first American woman in space, Sally Ride guarded a deeply private life filled with its own trials and tribulations. While she inspired millions with her achievements, Sally faced personal challenges that shaped her both as an astronaut and as a human being. Sally's relationships with her family and close friends provided her with a sanctuary from the demands of her public life. These intimate connections offered her comfort and stability, enabling her to navigate the pressures that came with her pioneering role. Away from the training simulations and spacecraft, Sally cherished her private hobbies. An avid reader and amateur photographer, she found solace in the arts, which provided a creative outlet and a break from her scientific endeavors. The weight of her groundbreaking status brought immense pressure. Sally's friends and colleagues recall her struggles with the intense media attention and the expectations to be a role model for women in science and technology. Despite these challenges, Sally maintained her dignity and focus, pushing forward the boundaries of space and gender. In her own words, Sally expressed a desire to be remembered not just for her space flights but for her efforts to make the world a better place especially for young girls aspiring to careers in STEM. Through her personal struggles and triumphs, Sally Ride remains a symbol of courage and perseverance, whose legacy continues to inspire beyond the stars.
Sally Ride's legacy is not only marked by her journeys into space, but also by her steadfast commitment to advancing the role of women in STEM fields. Throughout her career and in her post-NASA endeavors, Sally was a vocal advocate for gender equality in science and technology. Sally often visited educational institutions across the country, where she met with young women to discuss their aspirations and challenges in STEM disciplines. She provided not only inspiration but also practical advice on navigating a path traditionally dominated by men. With the establishment of Sally Ride Science, she took a direct role in shaping educational programs that specifically target young girls, aiming to spark their interest in science from an early age. These programs have grown to become a cornerstone of her legacy, empowering thousands of girls to consider futures in STEM. Sally also understood that real change required involvement at the policy level. She actively participated in discussions that shaped educational and governmental policies aimed at supporting women in STEM. Her voice helped secure funding for programs that foster a more inclusive scientific community. The testimonies of numerous women, who now lead their fields in science and engineering, underscore the lasting impact of Sally's efforts. They cite her as a key influence in their decisions to pursue and persist in their STEM careers, often referring to her as a role model who combined excellence with advocacy. As we reach the conclusion of our journey through the life of Sally Ride, we reflect on a legacy that transcends her time and space, touching the lives of millions and continuing to influence the fields of science and education. Each year, the Sally Ride Excellence in Science Award is presented to individuals who exemplify the spirit of discovery and innovation that Sally championed throughout her life. These awards, along with scholarships in her name, ensure that her passion for science and education burns brightly in the hearts of young learners. Sally Ride's advocacy for diversity in space exploration has echoed across the globe, inspiring international space agencies to adopt more inclusive policies. Her vision for a more equitable scientific community continues to inspire changes well beyond the borders of the United States. The personal stories of those touched by Sally's life and work paint a vivid picture of her as more than an astronaut, a mentor, a visionary, and a friend. These narratives capture the essence of her character, determined, compassionate, and relentlessly curious. As we gaze up at the stars, we remember Sally Ride not just for the heights she reached but for the depth of her commitment to making the world a better place. Her journey reminds us that with courage, dedication, and passion, the final frontier is not a limit but a beginning.